What's up guys, Huso7 and today I've got a video continuing my series on the uh, Key Dominator software suite for all of your bloody keyboards. Again, if you've been watching from the beginning, you've heard this a couple times, but I'm using the Lightstrike 720 keyboard and uh, this software works for all of the different bloody keyboards. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some uh, custom macros and I will show you um, some just like life-saving tips and I'll show you how they work in game and also like a productivity, how this exact uh, example could work so you can kind of see uh, both sides. Um, I do a lot of work at my computer um, and I like to have, you know, you don't just have to use these macros for gaming. I use tons of macros uh, for when I'm doing coding, particularly HTML code, closed tags, all sorts of things. So let me show you how this works. The first thing that we're going to do with this macro is actually use the record button. I didn't show this off in any of the videos yet. It's also here on Super Combo if you click this little camera. And record is basically going to record exactly what you do and try to emulate it. Um, so we're going to actually record using our absolute mouse coordinates uh, to do a task that we do uh, pretty frequently, which is going to be empty our trash. And I'll show you productivity, and then I'll show you an awesome way it's going to work in game. So let's set this to office, create a new macro here, and we'll call it empty trash. Okay. So. Basically, what Empty Trash is going to do is it's going to come up here to the recycle bin. It's going to empty it. Very easy. We'll click record. We want to make sure that we're recording our absolute mouse movement. Uh, in a previous video, I explained the difference between absolute and relative. We want absolute on. And again, this is going to record with delays everything that we're doing. So we're going to push uh, F11 to start. Empty. Yes. F11, F12, stop. Okay, so there's our macro. Again, incredibly simple. It's only 21 lines. You know, I've done macros that are thousands of lines, but here we go, 21 lines. Let's save it as empty trash. And let's throw something in the trash, that hello world document from the last video. Let's go bind F5 to our new macro, which is empty trash. And here we go. When we click F5, it empties our trash for us. So that's really helpful. That's how you can use the absolute mouse um, cursor and the record feature to, you know, like increase your productivity. Tasks you do very frequently, you know, you can kind of automate. You can click a button and you can automate that. Let me show you uh, one of my favorite things. I use this macro all the time. Let me show you how this can work in game. Okay, so here I am back in Diablo 3. And when I'm in game, I like to have a gold farming set. You can see I've got a lot of gold here and that's because sometimes I like to run with my gold farm gear. And to switch it, I, you know, I got to click, I got to uh, put on all this gold set gear. And, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a pain to always be switching gears, you know, especially if you've got multiple builds, if you're playing a game, uh, you know, some kind of like MMO game and you've got different builds and you have to switch and there's not an easy way to do that in the game. I'm going to show you a way that we can kind of automate that process using what we just did with the recording of the absolute mouse movements. So let's make sure we're in uh, Diablo. Let's create a new macro called gold set. And we're going to record using absolute mouse. So let's start. Let's equip, quit, 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 equip, and turn off. So really simple little uh, macro. Let's save it. Let's go bind it to F7. And now. Let's say we're playing, we decide we want to do some gold farming. I'm going to put my hands up here. I'll show you I'm not, I'm not touching anything. We're going to, we want to put on our gold set. We will just push F7. Bam, look at that. It automatically puts on our gold set and we're ready to go start farming. Now when we're done, you know, gold set farming and we want to switch back to our regular gear, we can repeat the same process, just push F7 again. As long as all our gear is in the exact same spot that it was before, you know, we haven't moved it it's going to equip the exact same gear that we were wearing before. So there you have it. That's like a huge uh, life-saving thing, you know, right? It's like, it, it seems small, but it's really big because especially if you've got lots of gear sets, you know, if you're playing games like that where switching it is coming in handy, you can create a macro to basically automate that process and switch your gear on a single uh, key press. So that's just one of the many, you know, like macros you can do using the record. 
uh, and using the absolute uh, mouse cursor position. So there you have it. That's my video for uh, this kind of like advanced macro. I'm going to have a couple other different examples to show you again, as well as the productivity and in games, you'll have a couple of examples. Uh, and so you can stay tuned for those. Those will be coming up here at the end of this video. Uh, and click that like button if you learned something. I appreciate you watching, especially if you've been here from the beginning. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. And thanks a lot for watching.